Yet another gunshot rings out in the lonely junkyard on the edge of town. The sound gives me the feeling a new death will be waiting for me on the other side of the line. Apparently, I'm not the only one the Reaper's interested in tonight. As long as there's anything I can do about it, I don't plan on letting anybody else die. Changing a person's fate is no easy task, especially when their fate is death. The scene at the other end of the line is pretty much what I expected, all except for one thing. No, 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 Lynn! Hang in there, baby! It looks like some piece of trash shot her from atop the pile of garbage outside. Here, let me take a look at her. Maybe there's something I... Sorry, I can't allow that, Pigeon Man. I investigate and you superintend. You have your job, and I have mine. Let's leave each to their own profession, shall we? Yeah, well, here's what I think. How much of a pro can you be if you let her get shot right in front of you? I... <sighs> anyway, have it your way. I'll stay out of your hair. Don't you down, Please, please don't. I'm gonna go superintend. Let's go. You got the key? There we go, thank you. Huh. I can have fun now. Wee! Doc, what took you so long? Quit dragging your feet! Who are you to shout at me? Now let me have a look at the victim. I haven't even looked yet, but I can already tell you she's dead. Her second death of the night, actually. All right. Looks like I'm gonna have to go over to a corpse to save her again. Where's that place down there? No matter. I gotta save Lynn. Unconscious this time as well, eh? Where am I? Uh, she's coming too. What happened to me? Excuse me? Are you... ignoring me? Oh, uh, sorry. I'm still not used to talking with dead people, you see. Dead? So I'm dead, huh? Hmm. Try as I might, I can't seem to remember who I am. She's starting to remind me of me. Everybody seems to call you Lynn, if that's any help. Lynn, huh? Pretty cute name. And apparently you're a detective, too. Detective? You mean that super cool kind of cop that solves crimes and upholds justice? Sounds like a pretty subjective description, but... Yes, that kind of detective. Hey, wait a minute. Huh? Are you starting to remember something? There's no time to lose! Something really unusual is going down in this town tonight! Yeah, I certainly won't argue with the really unusual part. That's not your face, you know. Take another look. You're the dead one. Oh, right, of course. <laughs> It'd be pretty heinous if I looked like this, I guess, wouldn't it? I don't know if heinous is the right word. Horrifying would be more appropriate. There, now this is more like it. Something really unusual is going on in this town tonight. Could it have anything to do with my death, I wonder? Tell me, what is going on in this town tonight? Don't ask me. Huh? I can't remember a thing. I think it's probably because I'm dead. 
<sighs> Everything is so confusing. Can't you do something? Hey, you're asking the wrong guy. But I've got some things to ask you about. I'm looking for the answers to the questions. Who am I? And why was I killed? Do you know anything that might help me? The only thing I know right now is that my name is Sissel. Your name is Sissel, huh? I think so. It rings some kind of bell anyway. I think I was killed tonight while I was meeting with you. So you must at least know me, I think. I was meeting with you? Yes, in the junkyard outside. Hmm. Yeah, it's coming back to me. I remember now. I knew it. I knew you were the lead I needed. But I'm so sorry. I don't think I can help you. W why not? Because I don't know you. W what do you mean? I thought you just said you remembered me. No, I said I remembered something. I remembered the fact that I don't know you. Seriously? How do you remember that you don't remember somebody? How does that even work? So I died, huh? Yes, apparently. I'm very sorry. How could this have happened? And after I just passed my test finally this year, the exciting career of catching the bad guys had just begun. And now look at me! Why did I have to go and die in an old junkyard like this? Ah, <sighs> poor kid. The shock is setting in. And so, I told her everything that happened tonight. About ghost tricks, possessing and manipulating objects, and about going back four minutes before a person's death. This actually isn't the first time you died tonight, you know. You were already shot and killed once before tonight. And... you saved me? That's right. You don't remember? I think I do remember something like that happening. Vaguely. Yes, I did get shot! By a blue man dressed all in black! I guess this means that even if a death is erased, the memory of it remains. So I died twice already tonight. Wish I knew what to say to her. Guess I'll just have to wait until she recovers a little. Hey, I bet that's some kind of record, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're probably right. Looks like she's pretty much recovered already. So you don't know about me, huh? Nope. Wish I did. So do you suppose we're just two strangers who happen to meet them? No way. I don't think it was any accident. Why in the world would I be way out here in the middle of nowhere for no reason? I was asked to come here tonight. Asked to come? By who? Can't you kind of guess where this is going? You're kidding! Y you mean... Bingo! By you! I asked you to come here? But why? That's what I was gonna ask you! Why did you ask me to come here tonight? Way out here in the middle of nowhere. You gotta be kidding me! It goes without saying that I don't remember. Confusing! Can't you do something? Damn it, woman! Lynn, I'm not saying you owe me or anything, but I have a favor to ask. What is it? In the next four minutes, you'll probably come back to life. When you do, do you think you could try and find out about me before tomorrow morning? Who I am and why was I killed? I'm really sorry, but I can't make any promises. Why not? I don't remember very clearly right now. But I think I was investigating a case tonight. A case that is very, very important to me. So even if I come back to life, I don't think I'll have time to find out anything about you. I know that's a terrible thing to say to the person who saved my life once already. I'm really, really sorry. I see. That's too bad. 
but I'm afraid I'm still gonna ask you. Ask me what? Ask you to save me. Even though I probably won't be able to help you. I know it's selfish of me, I really apologize. But I just can't die. Not yet. Not like this. I'm investigating something important tonight. I think maybe that might be the reason I was killed. But I still want to solve the case in spite of all that. Am I out of line? Didn't I tell you a minute ago you don't owe me? Huh? I'm certainly not going to treat your life like some kind of bargaining chip. I'll save you. What you do after that is up to you. Thank you. So, you ready to go back? Back to four minutes before you got shot. Lynn's second death. I'm heading back in time now to rewrite her fate. Faced with those circumstances, she could have just lied and promised to help me. But she didn't. That's when I knew I could trust her. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, sir! Detective, is everything okay? Uh, oh! Uh, I was hungry, so I was trying to get something delivered. What? Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. You should leave jobs like that to me. Is chicken all right? One chicken dinner. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> I'm not feeling very hungry anymore. Huh? I would like to go back to the station for a minute, though. You would? Oh, uh, I'm afraid I can't let you do that. Inspector Cabanella is on his way. He'll be here any minute. Ding dong, baby! And I have arrived! <laughs> evening, patrol man! Good evening, Inspector Cabanella, sir! Nice work. Now do me a favor and take a little patrol around outside, would you? That's a nice fella. Yes, sir! Yo, how's it going, baby? Inspector Cabanella, what are you doing here? I thought the Special Investigation Unit had an important, top-secret assignment tonight. What does that matter at a time like this when my Lynn's in crisis? I appreciate it, sir. Wait a minute. Did you just say crisis? Don't tell me I'm being suspected! Suspected of shooting that pointy-haired man in the red suit? I mean, I've never even met the guy before! Hmm... Never, baby? Oh, well, uh... Before tonight, I mean. He asked me to meet him here. He said he had important information about the big case I'm working on. Uh, he's the one who contacted me! I see, I see. But it's funny, isn't it? I took a look at the list of cases your station is handling right now. And I don't see you listed as involved in any big cases. <sighs> you know I don't suspect you, baby. Just trying to clear things up. You're not the type to ever shoot anybody. Hey, who knows you better than me, baby? You know, if anything ever happened to you... I'd never be able to look him in the eye again. Inspector Cabanella, I'm going to ask you a question. Yeah? And what's that? And I want you to answer honestly. Is it tonight? Is that when it's happening? I have no idea what you're talking about, baby. 
Get down! It seems to me that Baby is indeed under suspicion. By Inspector Cabanella? No, he's not like that! Just for the record, did you shoot me? Me? I would never do anything like that! Anyway, it looks like the hitman fired from outside. It'd be hard to prevent the bullet from coming in, though. In any case, let's just give it a try. Our four-minute game. Alright, I gotta find some way to get outside. You know what? I have an idea. The guy who shot me is outside, right? Looks that way, yeah. Instead of trying to stop the bullet once it gets in here, wouldn't it be more fun to go out and stop the guy who's shooting the bullet? Fun, she says with eyes gleaming. Oh boy, there's something wrong with you, lady. You can use the telephone to move around, right? That's right, and I know the telephone number to the junkyard payphone, too. I don't want to get shot again. You know what they say about three strikes and you're out. As long as you don't become a ball player, you'll probably be safe. But the telephone thing's a good idea. Maybe I'll give it a try. Alright, we need to get back outside. Gotta go through the telephone. Damn it, not that way. The other way. There we go. Now let's just get to the telephone. And back down here again. Some weird place from the looks of it. Yes, sir! Don't do that! Oh, I'm sorry. There we go. Now I can get over to the telephone. Hello, the chicken kitchen. You want the chicken? We got your chicken. One chicken dinner. Would you like an order of fried chicken with that? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> No way I can go over there. I need to help Lynn. Alright, I need to get some way to go through the telephone while it's active. That's funny. What's the matter? This telephone doesn't seem to be working right now. Usually the telephone line glows red, but it's dark right now. What? Apparently in this four minutes before death world, we can't just use the phone lines whenever we want. You're kidding, right? As long as the lines are closed like this, it looks like we can't go anywhere. But I want to stop that criminal! Hmm, maybe if I could get that guy's attention soon. He's starting to be spooked by a moving lamp. Ah, uh, jeez. Now I know how Ray feels. I swear, these guys are oblivious. There we go! Huh? That's Lynn's notebook. Hey, wait a minute. I thought she was practicing a dance move when I came in. Like Cabanella. Nope, that was definitely suspicious. No question. I'd better report this. I wonder if I can make the call without her noticing. What, pray tell, is up? I've been watching Lynn just like you told me to. And I noticed something suspicious. You did? So Inspector Cabanella was right. She was hiding her notebook when I came in. Her notebook, eh? Yes, sir. In a very suspicious manner and in a very conspicuous place. Anything else? Uh, let's see. It's pink and it's a notebook. Anything else? Um, uh, let's see. Come to think of it, she was using the phone when I came in too and referring to her notebook. Okay, someone will be over later. Don't let on you noticed anything. Hey, 
look at that. The phone line is glowing red. <coughs> I bet it would work if we tried it now. I bet you're right. The detective he's talking to outside in the junkyard. And that's where the horrible hitman who's after me is, too. There we go. I've been waiting for you. Eh? W what are you? A desk lamp that sounds like an old grandpa? Hey, I'm not that old. Just call me Ray. Grandpa Ray? You just have to get the grandpa part in there somewhere, don't you? We're souls. We can choose any appearance we like. Which means you have no intention of showing us what you really look like, right? Now then. About that gunshot that took your life. I heard it way up on the upper level, a scant few minutes from now. The hitman is probably getting his rifle ready right now. All right, I'm going in. I'll get him with those ghost trick thingies. I'm very sorry, young Lee, but you don't have those powers. What? Why not? I'm afraid I don't know the reason. But only a special few have the powers of the dead. What? Are you saying I'm not special? That's not fair! Anyway, we don't have much time. Your life's cut on the line here. Come on and hop in. Let's kill that blue freak. Uh, I mean, apprehend the blue freak. Yes, yes, totally, totally. And I believe my work here is done. Carry on, boys. All right, I have to find a shooter. He's most likely up above, so I need to make my way up there, and quick. Well, we made it. Now it's time to hunt down that horrible hitman. He must be around here somewhere, preparing to take a shot. There isn't a lot of time. Let's try to find him, fast! I'm gonna make good and sure he understands what happens to people who point guns at others! There's that gleam in her eye again that's absolutely terrifying. You almost sound like you want to see him dead. All right, where is he? He's a shooter, so he must be in some place that's inconspicuous. Some place that people won't easily find. Come on, come on, where is he? Get on that bike. Maybe I can get somewhere else where he is. There we go. How does nobody see that guy? I see my target. Time to go to work. I'll be head of the Hitman Division by next month now for sure. There he is! The horrible Hitman! I think his name is actually Tango, but that doesn't matter now. We have to stop him from shooting. Fast! Alright, how do I get him from shooting? Wait, there's a light right there. Those glasses don't always work, buddy. Well, the light's in your face! Oh, gotta get out of here. There, we put a stop to that shot at least. We did it! So I'm safe now, right? Well, that changed your fate a little, but it didn't avert it completely. We're not done yet. The hitman is a professional, and he really, really wants to be head of a division, apparently. I doubt blocking a shot here and there is really gonna stop him. If you want to rough him up a little bit, I promise I won't put it in my report. Let's think of something else before he gets a shot in. Crap, he's still around here. I need to find some way to get rid of him. Oh, well, that bike can't take me anywhere. Let's see if Powerline's bike can get me somewhere. Wait, there's a guard coming up, fast. Up, Maybe up. I can hit your ride on him. All of my academy training. Wasted on walking back and forth in a devil damn line. I want that position. I have to be careful of even the least bit of light. 
Division Ed is my ambition this year. Next year, my motto will be... If I want to be director, I have to be careful of even the least bit of scandal. So it sounds like he won't show up in spots where a light is on. And next year, I'm going to spread some nasty, scandalous rumors about him. You know what? That's a great idea. How about the fact that he's a shitty Spike Spiegel cosplayer? <laughs> oh, crap. We gotta get out of here. Hey, did you turn that flashing light on? Was it me? It went off all by itself. It scared the heck out of me. Well, just make sure you lay off it. Don't want to waste any electricity. Have things gone that tight? That's pretty sad. They're really putting the squeeze on us lately about using too much power at sites. They won't even let us use all of our searchlights at once. Oh boy. We ought to be free to do at least that much, especially on a dark night like tonight. That got their attention, finally. All right, turn this light on. Oh, oh look at that, one of the lights went out. There are three lights here all together. Apparently we can't even have all three of them on at once. Our station is crazy cheap when it comes to electricity. Just so another detective could see what he was doing the other day, I had to pedal my bicycle in place to work the headlamp. A very sad tale indeed. Sounds like they're taking things way too far. Alright, so I have to have one lay on at a time. Gotta get this guy somehow with just that one thing. Son of a bitch! Alright, let's see. Where are you, you little weasel? It must be my imagination. There he is! Quick, need to turn on the light again. Get to the lever, get to the light. Oh, come on! Quite a distance from the target, but I can't work under a spotlight after all. Ah, never mind. A shot like this is nothing for a man of my skill. Mr. Division Head seems to like dark, gloomy places. I'd be happy to throw him in a dark, gloomy cell. Come on, Sissel, get him! Hold up, when did I become her assistant? There is no way I can mess this up. Oh, 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 this is perfect! Strike me down now if I cannot make this- Did you hear a scream just now? I'm telling you, it wasn't me! I never said it was you, dumbass. There. We found a nice dark spot in hell for our gloom-loving hit. I think your death has just been erased. Again. And I committed first-degree murder again. I think that brings my score up to two. Why not, I wonder? Huh? Why don't I have powers like yours? If I could do things like you do, it could really help me pursue my case. Only the special few, huh? It's not fair. That's the same thing the little doggy said, too. Well, I'm jealous of you, actually. You are? Why? Because your life can be saved, even if you die again tonight. I can save you. With my ghost tricks. Nobody can save my life, though. Oh. These powers of the dead. Why have they chosen me? Will I find the answer to that question tonight? Cecil, I'm so sorry. Well, you're free to do as you please now. I guess this is goodbye, Detective. Will we ever see each other again? If you ever want to see me again, all you have to do is die. Okay, got it! I was kidding! Well, guess we'd better be getting back to the present. Let us escape death for a second time. But that doesn't mean she's out of the water yet. 
I'd better go see how she's doing. Let's do a project. 